Okay, so here's where I got it. So this is a EV based Tesla Model 3 Y roof sunshade 2023 new upgrade. Anyway, um, let's see, is that right? So the website is evbase.com and you're looking under um, Tesla Model 3 sunshades. Okay, the choices are black and white or black or white and Model Y or Model 3. So that that all works. Uh, well, okay, Model 3, 2018 and 2023. Anyway, there you go. Um, like I said, I haven't, I haven't run it, or I haven't said it yet, but you'll hear it later. Um, I haven't run a test in the sun yet, because it's evening. It did come through Amazon shipping, so um, that part was okay. I assume it was ground shipping because it took a while, but there you go. Um, and forty nine 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 seems to me the Tesla one was seventy. I don't remember exactly, but um, so it is a bit cheaper, um, and it doesn't cover the rear window. In fact, you can see this in this picture. This rear window is is open for Model Three, um, and I think I read something from somebody else who had a Model Y. And basically these two overlapped, kind of like the way it looks in this picture here. And so that left the, the uh, rear look uh, open. Anyway, there you are. Okay, unboxing day. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Uh, actually, I ordered it on the 14th and today's the 19th, so just five days. Um, anyway, uh, so in my Model Y, I have a sunshade in the roof from Tesla. Um, in looking around, I found that there are cheaper sunshades. So this one is from EV Base. So let's see what we got. So this is for my Model 3 Performance, which would be a pre-refresh. I don't know if that made a difference in this case, but um, there it is. So let's unbox it and let's see what we have. Okay, so here we go. The shade comes in two sections, which, if I recall correctly, makes sense because there's a uh, there's a rib running across the middle of the window. Anyway, um, there are what is it six? So there's six of these clips for each of them. So I think what it takes is one on each side, and then two on the front and two on the back. And it's as simple as you just press, you, you line it up perpendicular and then rotate it and there it goes, it's on. So uh, to be fair, I've done this before in the Model Y. Not the exact same thing, but similar. Okay, so let me show you this. This is the white side. There's also a reflective side that goes on towards the sun. This says this is Model 3 front, and this over here says Model 3 after, or basically back. Okay, there you go. So let me put some clips on and let's try putting it in. Okay, so here it is, it's in. See, there's a clip here, clip here, clip over there, clip just above my head, and there's two clips in the back. Um, it feels like it's just a touch bigger than the opening, but it is fitting in there tight. Um, I am noticing that, wow, this is a lot thicker than the one that's in the Tesla um, and my Model Y. So the one from Tesla is actually has holes in it, so the sun does come through some. This one is a pretty solid material. And it does not fit up right next to the glass, but you know, maybe that's okay. Anyway, there you go. Um, I'll take another picture in the morning when I have more light. Um, let me get the back, get the back one in. So yes, as I said, the, uh, oh, that's interesting. Okay. I'll have to see because what this is going, what's going to happen is it's only going to cover part of this glass, not all of it. So, uh, 
the two on the front and then two on each side. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me get that one together and let's get it in. Okay, so here's the back end. Uh, oh, it's starting to rain. Okay, so this corner for some reason, not quite tied in, but okay, whatever, it's fine. Um, that's in. So I pushed this clip back as far as I can, uh, well, sort of as close as I can to the back, um, just to hold it at the back. Um, this is fitting in snug. Um, I found that the rear, where it says, uh, was it mile three after? So the after part goes up front. Okay, so um, this, this side did fit in more snug. So I did have to bend the wire. So this section over here is a wire. So I had to bend the wire a little bit to make it collapse and go in, but that was no problem. There you go. It's in just a little bit extra work. There were no printed instructions, so I went mostly based upon my experience with my Model, my Model Y and the Tesla so screen. But there you go. Um, oh, so as I was saying, so it doesn't cover the whole window. So it'll cover right to a person, the edge of somebody's head. But, you know, at least we'll keep the sun off of it. Oh, I was going to show you what it looks like from the outside, but uh, there's enough uh, tint on my roof that you can't see it. Hmm, okay. And of course, since it's not covering the, the back window, you can see through, through the mirror. Okay, there you go. It's in, the shade's installed. Um, it didn't cover quite as much as I thought it would, but I've seen a, I've seen a review of a Model Y shade and it, it, it was kind of similar so the one thing the one big difference okay well there's a difference between the material because in, in the tesla version in my model y it's more of a screen so there's holes in it whereas this one's solid okay but the other difference is this one does not go all the way down the window to the deck so in the model y the, that cover goes all the way down to the edge of the window. So when you're looking at your rear, your rear view mirror, you, you are, uh, it, it's shaded, so you can't see out quite as well. Um, so th there's, a, there's a plus and minus to it, right? Um, if you're not so worried about the heat, you'd prefer to have it this way, I think. Now, this is solid, so you can't see through it, right? So that's, that's that. If it were to go down like the Model Y, I absolutely could not use my rearview mirror. So, on the other hand, if you live in central Texas and you're under an excessive heat advisory, you probably want it to go down as far as possible. But you do have to have the rearview window to be able to see out. So, this looks like it's pretty good. We'll, we'll test out tomorrow. Um, and we'll go from there. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll do, I'll maybe I'll do a comment. I'll let you know how it works. Um, I'll be going out in the morning, so it won't be quite as hot, and not as much sun, but still you can get, we can get an idea of what it looks like. Anyway, um, so this is from EV Bases. I think it's evbases.com. Uh, and so they have several different uh, uh, screens. So some screens, have a manual retraction or a motorized retraction, I, I don't know. This is just, you just stick it in and it stays there. Um, and that's exactly what I have in my Model Y from Tesla. So it's the same basic functionality, except it's, it's, a, it's more solid, so it'll block more sun. It's reflective on the sun side, so it'll reflect that sun out, hopefully. Although I can tell you already there's some looseness between the window and the cover, the shade. But whatever, we'll see how it goes. And we'll go from there. So anyway, where I'm going, so if you want to order one, go to evbases.com. Um, this is a Model 3 version. 
Uh, there was something about mile three. What was the difference? I forgot exactly. So it wasn't about the refresh. Mine's a 2020, so it's pre-refresh. Um, so yes, they went through refresh somewhere right around 21. Anyway, um, I hope it works out. I'm very excited to have it in because this car, this car is black paint, so it attracts heat. But anyway, and uh, we're in the hottest part of summer possible. Uh, we just set an all-time record for uh, feels-like temperature. And they're saying tomorrow will be even hotter. <laughs> All right, onward upper charge.